Hello folks, in today's video I wanted to dive into why I love the email application Missive. Now, for those who don't know, I use an email application called Missive and I find it a pretty reliable experience and it's something that I've been using for around about a year, almost probably a year and a half, like sort of in between that bracket. Um, I actually moved to it uh, a few months after Newton shut down, that was my main email application. And I decided that I wanted a sort of reliable application that would grow with me over time. And I decided to go with Missive. That's been my application for a while now. And I'm gonna tell you first some of the features that I love, I'll show you, and then I'll dive into more of the reasons why I'm willing to pay the 12 pound per month fee, which uh, some people will, you know, say in the comments, you know, that's crazy, why would you do that? Um, so let's start with the features. So the first feature I particularly love, it's not really a feature, it's the cross-platform abilities. This application is available on Mac, iOS, Android, web, and Windows. So if I ever move devices, um, that's a massive pro. If I decided uh, one day that I'll move to an Android phone and stick with the Macs, then I can still use it. If, for example, I was like in another country and I wanted to log in, um, and I only could find a computer that was available there, um, or I was having a problem with the, the, the applications, I could use the web version, which is available and works very well. So that's one of the things that I think, for me, at least I like that sort of backup plan in the back of my head if I ever move devices. But that won't change anytime soon, in my opinion. Uh, I, I still like all the devices I'm, I'm on. So number two is responses. And I would say I've only been using this feature for about six months now. But what I particularly like about it is I can say I'm doing something quite repetitive, um, like a giveaway for a competition, um, or even just uh, responding with something about the affiliate programs or um, to sponsors, a bit about the information on statistics on the channel or things like that. Then what I'll need to do is, all I do is open up the responses paste in the one that I want, that I've pre-created, and it just does all that job for me, and I can press send faster than ever. So anything that I know I'm gonna be sending more than five times in my lifetime, I definitely create a response uh, on. And this is something that I've been doing a lot more of. Especially recently, I've been trying to prepare my paternity leave one, so that people know that I'm on paternity leave, um, but naturally, it's, it's, it's a good way to do that and sort of uh, briefly explain something uh, when you're in email. So one of the things I really like is a design. You can customize it quite a bit. You can have it in dark mode, you can have it in light mode, you can change the panel colors, which is quite nice. And there, you know, that's something that for me, design is pretty important when it comes to an email application. I roughly use email for about two to three hours a day give or take, one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon. Uh, roughly, when I do big clear outs of email, uh, it may even be less than that. But at the same time, I like the email application to look really attractive. And the reliability of the platform is something that's really important to me. And I've never had a hiccup with Missive. And what's quite nice is it syncs extremely well on all devices. You're paying for an extremely fast sync. And that, for me, is one of my many uh, things that I like. I also like the super advanced settings. So you can go into settings and really create a custom environment. Um, or for example, you can add profile photos, you can change the appearance, and you can prepare yourself to add other team members, which for me might actually be valuable in the future, especially if I want somebody to come in, understand the company, they can get a sort of good track of what all the emails coming in are all about. And I can invite them to certain specific emails and bring them into conversations and even add them and assign them tasks. So that's one of the reasons I like it for more of a long term approach. So one of the things I really like in an email application is read receipts. Although they're not incredibly important, I really like having them because it tells me if that person has like been able to read it in that time period. And I can also not bother them too much if they have read it. Um, but at the same time, um, it is also a good responder when I'm just about to do a Zoom call. For example, I'll see the read open and naturally I'll be able to get prepared for that Zoom call because that person will be coming in because they've seen the URL. So there are small things throughout their day which I quite like and I can see when people read stuff. There's even notifications you can set, for, for, for example, for threads. Uh, so you can see whether someone's read that conversation and eagerly prepare 
Um, so it's an important proposal or deal that you're setting out. You may want to be super responsive at the time they respond so that they sort of that carry on that thread. Um, but naturally, it's not a mega important feature. It's just something that I really like. One thing I really like to do is snooze emails. And this application has a bulk snoozer. So you can just literally drag down. I really like the gestures on this application. So just dragging down and across uh, really helps to just quickly uh, prepare um you know, snooze emails for later or prepare for a certain time. And the snooze options are really advanced, something I quite like in an email application. I also like the the uh, archiving and the way that I can sort of process emails. I've set it up so that every time uh, I'm doing something, archives can be done on email sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. And that's really fast. So I can just like go and delete and that will archive delete. And I can go through my email much more rapidly than I used to with say Gmail. And it's also a lot faster. So one of the biggest questions is why do you pay $12 a month for this application? Now I think sometimes we all have that sort of uh, application that you're you really fall in love with and you find reliable and it just works. Um, a lot of people ask me why don't you just use Gmail um, and I would say for, for my situation I like a fast reliable email that works on uh, like for example native applications and it syncs well across all devices. Now you could say that's Apple Mail, um, which is a good argument, but I, I quite like the responses feature. I quite like the read feature. I like an activity feature that's in it. I like all these super advanced features. And in the future, if I'm looking to move, say in six months to adding somebody to conversations and getting somebody involved as sort of a PA sort of a situation, then that would be really beneficial to get. So at the same time, I see a long-term benefit to using this application. Now it's probably gonna cost me quite a lot per year, but at the same time, it's one of those things that, you know, the reliability of it outweighs at the moment its cost. Um, and you can naturally, I, I guess I pay for it from the business account. So at the same time, like I see huge amounts of value coming in for helping me to manage my business. I guess sometimes you have to ask yourself, like it's sometimes a bit daunting to open Gmail and sort of wait for the load time and it, it sometimes could be really slow. So in my opinion, having this as a unified inbox, all of my emails in one area, is something that I find really valuable. I'm sure, not sure I sold this to you today, uh, but I just wanted to share why I'm attracted to this application. And uh, let me know in the comments below what application you use and how you use it, because I'd love to hear. But guys, I hopefully will be doing more videos soon. I'm looking to plan a what's on my iPhone video for this channel, so hopefully that becomes useful. Anyway, guys, I'll see you very, very soon, and thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new here, subscribe and comment below, and also like this video. Anyway, guys, thank you, and I'll talk soon. Bye.